G'day guys, uh, this video is just a quick video. Just gonna do a rundown on the UHI backhoe. Let's go. Righto guys, um, I've just uh, hooked up the backhoe because I've got to move it out of the road from the spot we're gonna do some building. And uh, I thought while well, I had it hooked up, We'll just give you a bit of a bit of a look and see how it all works. So um, this is this is it. So um, it's only just a little unit, but it's got a little pump that runs off the PTO there, off the tractor, and it just chains on to stop it spinning. And then that's got its own little oil reservoir just in there, and then it's pumping the big tank of oil, which is just in there. Um, and uh, I've used it a little bit. It's, uh, it's doing a, a few jobs out here, but it's a bit tricky to use out here. I mean, it came with the tractor, but because you might have seen, we've just got like, you know, 100 mil of topsoil and then just solid limestone rock. It, uh, it struggles to get through it a little bit, but I haven't put the smaller bucket on yet. I've only got the bigger bucket. So once I put the smaller bucket on, I've got a couple of trenches that I have to try and dig and uh, we'll see how it goes then. But I'll um, fire up the tractor and... Uh, just show you how uh, how it all sets up and then maybe just um, have a bit of a play so let's uh, do that now so we want a few revs around about 1500 PTO on the slower speed, which everything works on that comes with the UHI. Now if we jump down here,
about three months, but uh, sort of get the hang of it again after 10, 15 minutes. But if you want to move a little bit of soil around, it's handy, or dig a bit of a hole or a trench. Um, as I said, yeah, this is the that's the bigger bucket. There's one I've got over there with just the two, so that's the one I'll be using uh, for to dig a trench. I'll just turn this off. It's a bit better. Um, so yeah, you can sort of see how it all works. It's a good little bit of gear. I guess it'd be pretty expensive if you wanted to buy one sort of by itself. So um, yeah, that's the, uh, as I said, just a short video, but yeah, that's the UHI Baco kit. Uh, I've got the, the grader here as well, but uh, probably not really worth doing a video on that. It's, uh, it's just a grader. You know, you can spin this around, dig up a bit of dirt with it. Um, it's got a bit of power to it too when you're in uh, low range on the tractor. Uh, but yeah, that's uh, that's the backo. So uh, cheers. See you. Uh, righto. So we've uh, looked at the the backo and the grader, um, and there's that other video on the auger. So thought it's been sitting here since we got it, but I got the slasher. Uh, so we'll have a quick look at this one. I'll put it together because it's still still bolted to the the steel pallet that it came on. Uh, and yeah, we'll have a go at chucking it together and, and see how it actually works. Because, um, as I said, it's, uh, nothing's grown for a few months because it's been so wet. But next month or two, when it starts warming up, everything's going to go crazy. So I need to see how this thing goes. So yeah, let's um, have a bit of a look. It's, uh, I think it's all pretty simple. I think this one here just pulls up, hooks straight on the tractor. Looks like that wheel goes at the back for a bit of balance and then our drive shaft. And... Um, yeah, nice little thermos looking thing here, but it's basically one of our instructions and some bolts and some other stuff. So I don't know what they call it, topping mower. <laughs> but um, that's basically what it's going to look like. So yeah, I'll unbolt it off this steel frame and we'll put him together and give it a run. hooked up I moved it from there to there and then I realized these guys were tucked underneath and we're getting dragged along this fly so I'm guessing these are just the sides for it but um yeah I'll get them on so this is the end of gear a serious serious bit of gear so um yeah I'll butt these on and we'll give it a quick run so I just brought it down on the flat surface just to sort of get it leveled out as best I can even though you sort of can't see it in the shadow but uh, it says you just chuck the uh, hydraulics in float mode and just let it sit down as low as it'll go uh, yeah we'll uh, just need to put a bit of oil in and uh, we'll give it a quick run 80-90 gear oil and plug out the side here Pump away. Take 50. Yep. So if I put this on, I can just see it coming out. Maybe. There we go. So, chuck this back in and then finish that stroke. That'll be 900. Should be just over the plug. Beautiful. One other thing is, don't lift up too high off the ground because um, potentially I can go up, probably up here somewhere, but it'll bend the drive shaft, which would not be good. So, all right, I'll put this back together and we'll fire it up. All right, we are hooked up, oiled up, leveled up, and uh, hopefully ready to do some mowing. 
to get around here where there's something to actually mow and um, see if we can't um, do something correctly. but um, we'll drop it down so it says it wants it in floating so it just dumps it basically on the ground with no pressure so that's just all the way forwards and it sits there so now we're basically on the ground and um, we'll find out if we're too low or not but um we've just got to start it up so clutch all the way double clutched in 540 that's on not much revs at the moment i'll put her in neutral and clutch it out yeah, let's see. There we go. We're spinning. And that'll speed up with my revs. So if it uh, starts catching the ground or not, I'm sure it'll conk out. So we'll um yeah, we'll see uh, see how low we are. the slasher it uh, seemed to go pretty well this wheel was uh, not working the best uh, I don't know whether I'll try and just rig it up so I can take that wheel off because um, it was just getting in the road if anything and I'll give it a good go and then decide if we're going to keep that one or the big old flail mower I've got over there which is um, it's probably twice as wide as this one so it's a bit harder to maneuver but it definitely cuts a lot more so I don't know we'll work that out but besides that Happy days, so yeah, that's pretty much all the attachments. Uh, hope, hope it was informative, uh, but yeah, any other questions let me know, but yeah, besides that, thanks for watching. See you next time.